I want you to know you are my favorite race car driver in the whole world. I've been sick a lot lately, but I really like to meet you and someday watch you race when I feel a lot better. That would be the greatest day ever. Thanks for sending things to me. That means a lot and it definitely made my day. Good luck on your races and remember, you'll always be the best when I lose. Hopefully my wish will come true. Love, your number one fan, Ashley Thomas. We started the foundation to consolidate all our efforts with the community and the charities we like, we like to work with to bring it all into one space and give our fans an opportunity to be involved. Uh, we focus on underprivileged individuals and we primarily try to focus on youth and children and give them the resources and the opportunity to succeed at whatever it is that they want to do. And also it gives us a platform to express what's important to us and who we want to help and how we want to help and how we go about helping. One, two, three! I'm proud to be here for the groundbreaking. We're proud to be uh, just a small part of the involvement in this camp. And I feel like it's an obligation uh, for the drivers and, uh, and the sport to, uh, to get behind something like this. Me being involved and, and helping build the amphitheater was just a, uh, a piece of that puzzle. It's real easy to be part of something like this. When you see so many great things happen here, you see so many people come away uh, from camp uh, so affected by uh, what it's able to do for them and their families. I hope it's something that uh, brings a lot of happiness uh, to a lot of people. You know, the 200th wish was just like the 199th wish. Uh, they're all special, hopefully, to that individual. It's a lot of fun sort of seeing the reactions that they have, uh, seeing what they might have brought to either have autographed or to show you. A lot of, a lot of times kids will bring like scrapbook or photo albums and show you sort of what they've been through physically or what, they have, what their life is like at home or what, what might be uh, interesting to them. So it's always kind of fun to get a glimpse into their life and what they're about and who they are. This is just a miracle for that child in his life. He's had so much adverse things happen to him, and, and I never dreamed that he would be this fortunate, that people would be so free-hearted and so giving and so loving. This is like pure gold to me. You know, the moms and dads and, and relatives are typically present during the meetings, and it's kind of fun to meet everybody, and it also gives you a better sense of who this person is and what kind of family he has and the experience that he has is one that hopefully he never forgets and you just try to make that a memorable moment for them. Through the foundation, we've helped over 300 charities. Locally, um, some of the places that we've helped in our own community are the Morsel Soup Kitchen, the Special Olympics program in our area, the Barium Springs Home for Children, the Ron McDonald House in Charlotte. I can't imagine why people would think that you know, having music class wouldn't be important in today's education environment. So I thought that we had an opportunity, we had a window to, to be involved. We reached out to VH1 and fortunately they were uh, really happy to be a you know, part of it. The Blessings in a Backpack program is a, is a national program that um, helps support various schools um, in different communities and, and provides a, a backpack of food to go home with uh, children that might be on their free or reduced lunch program and, and who often uh, go the weekend without eating. Um, it's really uh, you know, sad that you know, there are so many children um, that go hungry like that and that sometimes their last meal might be on Friday and their next meal might be on Monday at the school. Um, that experience is, it was really fun. The kids lined up along the school with signs and thank you notes and cards and things that they had made. Junior, I love the stuff you sent me. I put the sticker on my door. This is the best day of my life. Thank you, love, Blake. Dear Dale 
Earnhardt Jr. You're my favorite driver. Do you ever get nervous before a race? My sister is 20 years old, and she is a big fan of yours. She would like your autograph. Thank you for taking me to the Darlington race. It was a lot of fun. Will you please write back and send an autograph picture of you? We're always active. I think we're always doing something throughout the year. We've done a lot of things here in our own community, uh, like we did with Shepherd Elementary School on a smaller level that, that also makes you know makes a big impact. We were able to make a significant donation to the school um, that provided smart boards and this technology for the kids to to use and Dale and I went over and um, you know seen seen all of it in action. It was a great idea to, to put the foundation together and I've been really proud of what we've been able to do.